gives him back to you. I can keep this hand. What do you think is the best way to fight Blue Red Murktide? I've been playing this like Bant, this Bant like Squirrel Blade list that main decks uh, is like Sanctum Prelate, Ice Fang, and Oski. I've been beating up the Murktide decks with that deck. Take Phoenix. We went one two drop the pass league. Uh, we did we didn't make some changes. The bobbles felt a bit awkward, uh, so we ended up uh, cutting them for more Sarah Visions and Gut Shots. Just to actually have only instants and sorceries in our Demulage Phoenix deck. So our, our Darcy will be a bit worse, but Darcy's also like still a broken card, so hopefully it's fine. Thank you, Big, for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate you, buddy. Hmm. Basic Swamp. I mean, probably still Shadow, but maybe not a, a great start from them. Mill to Phoenix, it's pretty exciting. We could go Scoured, Dark Dart, I don't think I'm going to. Tarfire is not going to be good, there's like no way Tarfire is better than Gutshot, Dart, or Bolt. Sorry, I need, I need to, I needed to Dart this in response to the trigger. I was not uh, ready to play against the Steve's Guild Enforcer, but they need to put uh, two cards in my yard here in response to the dart, so I think this is still fine. Yeah, but uh, how good is this matchup, by the way? The Rogues versus Phoenix matchup. It's got to be pretty good. They do Thought Scour me, but I'm kind of like, you know, not too upset. Not too upset by this. I will bolt the use Guild Enforcer though. And they didn't like Millover any more glitches or Phoenixes. Well, the problem with playing Dimmy Lich and Vingevine, oh, we drew the third Phoenix. So I can go bolt plus dart, get a Phoenix back. But I think just like, this is probably going to be a match where I'm just like hard casting the Phoenixes in my hand instead. If my opponent thought seizes me, we'll bolt them in response. Then we then we make them discard Phoenix. Yeah, so the problem with Demilich and Vingevine is Demilich is enabled by a deck full of instants and sorceries, and Vingevine is enabled in a deck full of creatures. And so it's kind of hard to make both work at the same time. Good luck, Atlas. Oh, I in an MF6 here. Although I'm gonna let this mill me actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them mill me with this. Why do you play tap lands? I mean, Spire Bluff Canal is very good in this deck. I don't wanna hear it. Don't wanna hear it. Reveler has a lot of tension with Demulich. I wouldn't recommend playing it. Maybe I should have bolted on my turn because if I draw a land and they counter my Phoenix, then we can go like flashback dart, flashback dart, get back both Phoenixes. If assuming they counter. We're gonna race here. I'm kinda happy if they're like attacking, milling over more liches. I guess I I mean I've got all four phoenixes. One in the graveyard, two more in hand. Anamorphose iteration in the graveyard. Both would be pretty good draws. More so the Manamorphos, I guess. <laughs> Curse you, Chatter, who asked me why I played Tap Land. I was marked out against humans. I think humans is a little bit favored. It's close, though. Play draw matters a lot. Alhem, two months, welcome back. Game for Lord's control build, stayed for the beautiful collage. Thank you for that. I can't believe they're still thought scouring me. Are they gonna block? Pretty happy with the block too, I think. Yeah, we could have actually played Darcy, float mana, dart, dart. Kind of interesting. They're taking it, all right.
Uh, you, you the dungeon cards come pre-equipped. You can click view dungeon information, and they're all up here. Turok. Well, we draw a spell. We get to bring back two phoenixes. Any instant or sorcery. I'm feeling happy that I've cut. Is this a rogue? It's a cleric. I'm feeling happy that I've cut the. Um, oh, I should have probably darted in response. <laughs> huh. It's fine. We get we get our phoenixes back. We win. How do you avoid tilting? The key to avoid tilting is to be absolutely crushed in matches that uh, really, really matter a lot to you. Matches that like you know really you really really care about, and um, you know you lose really hard, and then eventually you just kind of stop feeling anything. It's been that's like that's that actually just is like I guess my advice to dealing with a lot of problems is to uh have them go really poorly for you and then eventually you'll stop caring after you lose a lot of really important matches and you just enjoy the game and you won't tilt off <laughs> just have that have those feelings crushed into uh into dust okay deck tech for nails and ironically, not really, I mean, a little bit, like tilting, like I, managing tilt is an important uh, skill to have as a magic player. Making sure that you're not going to get upset and have those things, uh, ha have being upset, you know, make you lose matches. It's really important to be able to manage that and different people deal with it in different ways. I've never been someone that like really naturally tilts very hard, but I have been tilted in the past. But I've also lost, you know, matches for thousands of dollars that, that I've lost due to, like, one top deck where my opponent had one outer. You know, I've lost a lot of, like, really, you know, soul-crushing matches um, in my Magic career. And when you lose matches like that, it's also, like, way harder to tilt when you're just playing leagues, you know? It's just, it's just like, a pretty different animal. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to change here. I don't feel like I necessarily want to change anything. I might play like one unholy heat over like the second gut shot. Okay, so we've got uh deck tech, Sahili's Domain, Grazer, Kavu, Guardian, Sign of Draco. This is cool. I like the like I like I like kind of like what I'm seeing here. Pretty creative. Like just Grazer in the in the domain deck makes a lot of sense to me. Like 23 lands, like the Oath of Nista. I feel like I might like to try to find a little more interaction. Like like Tribal Flames is probably a card that you want four of. Surely. Right, I'm gonna play second Darcy attack. If they play their Thieves Guild Enforcer, we can bolt. And if they have Force of Negation, I'll complain. Um, yeah, I feel like you maybe want Tribal Flames over like Teferi Time Raveler in this deck. Maybe over like the third Ren in 6 2, cut the Teferi's like the third Ren. Oh, Teferi's fine. I, maybe it's Cyborg Teferi's. But I like I like this deck. Um, I also think I like Chalice a lot in your sideboard. Chalice of the Void seems very good in your sideboard. Hmm. Bolt now. I milled over a Phoenix. I guess, I guess if they attack. I can try to bolt them, and if I hit a sorcery, I get delirium. Or maybe something else happens. Rude. Um, yeah, I think those are my main notes. Uh I'm I'm not sure exactly what you try to target with these force of vigors either. I guess like the affinity decks, but maybe like a more focused cyborg card is better for those matchups, like Kataki. Keep that. Good one. All right, I think those are my thoughts. Cool list. I like it, by the way. Let them keep Thought Thief. Hmm. Maybe good. Oh, look, somehow somehow we've managed to get Delirium. <laughs> or Darcy. Who... <laughs> it's, been, it's been pretty funny how people just think that, like... Like, it's like you need to play a card like Tarfire. It's just like, I feel like we just always have Delirium by turn three. Or almost always, right? Get an island here, I think. 
think collector if we begin the side i'll play kataki instead i've been liking kataki more than oof against the artifact decks Ooh, we hit a demi lich and a phoenix whoa one mana double and tomb oh my gosh although we, we've cast four instants or sorceries right cast metamorphos metamorphos iteration scour good turn three huh I mean, getting Delirium on turn two is like very difficult, anyways. I, even if you play cards like Tarfire, I mean, it's 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 not that difficult, I guess. I don't know. Good turn three, though. Had a little bit of help from the Thieves Guild Enforcer, but this is turn three through through a counter spell and a and a Fatal Push, by the way. <laughs> okay, a little late on their Dothy Voidwalker. A tad late. This doesn't have death touch anymore. Should I just block? A good rogues matchup. Oh, I didn't even see this card. One black five flea flash tragic backstory casts the spell only if a creature died this turn. How did that? When did that card get printed? Let me cast uh, Serum Visions. Yeah, it's worse than the Vulture, I agree. Although the Flash is a big game on it, not gonna lie. I bought them both of these. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna go Salvaging it back to Phoenix, and then... Oh boy, set up for a crazy turn three. Yeah, Salvaging is just, like, so cracked. Salvaging costs zero mana. But you have to pay two mana first to get another copy of it. <laughs> hot dogs and hot dog buns come in packs of same counts. I don't know where Esther finds them, but I, Esther Esther is able to get same count hot dog buns in packs. Waterlog Grove? What is this? Oh, rhinos? Sting? Rhinos. I'm gonna discard the Dimmy Lich. We should be able to get it back. Not too much trouble. I really want to get uh, Darcy into play this turn, though. But the only way we can we can uh, get back Dimmy Lich if we the only way we can get back Dimmy Lich if we play Darcy is if we hit a Manamorphos off the Manamorphos, or if we hit a Gut Shot or a. Lava Dart, and I feel like we're like pretty likely to hit one of those two, surely. But there is like, of course, some risk here. I think we should just make blue blue. Although this, if we make blue blue, it means that we can't draw Manamorphos here. Oh, of course, we really wish we could have surveilled that into the yard, but we are able to draw the Gut Shot, which is going to let us Lich. Second gut shots, probably not good enough to draw. It's bottom. Uh, we could maybe keep that. I think I'm gonna graveyard it though. Trying to, I guess we would. We we're good to get to draw. Oh, we get another another witch is really good, and another one. So if we surveil this into the yard, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're one short of being able to cast three liches. One, two, three. Four, five, six, or two short. I mean, I think that we. I guess we graveyard it. Yeah, or bottom it. It's just not really. Like we can hit a phoenix off this. Can hit like another metamorphos. Can maybe keep a second channeler. Okay, okay. I'll just draw a second channeler for next turn. Yeah, let's stream is pretty good. We probably just take eight next turn. I believe uh he's here, yeah.
Yeah, it looks looking pretty good. Graveyard it. Oh, uh, we the th we were we were not we were not surveilling there. We were scrying with the serum visions. I would have obviously just graveyarded it. Endurance is pretty brutal here. But they let me cast the Dimulus from the graveyard, which is a gift, I guess. Main deck Endurance, sad. I think we block one right now. Kind of close. I think there's a good chance we can cast one from the graveyard next turn. Next turn we're drawing a Dragon Rage's Channeler. Okay, two more Rhinos. Yeah, Endurance is really good right now. I, I probably can't play the Starcy first. I probably need to go Iteration. Uh, whoops. And be able to cast like the four spells, get the four spells in the yard for the Lich again. We can cast, we can cast a bolt, and then we need to spend another red mana on the other bolt too. Bolt on upkeep, uh, maybe. Well, now we're pretty screwed. We're not that screwed. We bolt them. So you need to bolt this Shardless Agent. They have no cards left in their hand. Graveyard the Dart. They just take it. So we're going to take 12, go to 1. The next turn... Next turn we have... Assuming we can de get Delirium, we go... Darcy, Bolt, Flashback, Bolt with Demi Lich. Yeah, we have Lethal on the, on the Crackback. I think. Yeah, we, yeah, we just put the Bolt in our hand, so. They just swing with everything. They need to have drawn something. This has been a great game. Yeah, we're, we're, dead, to, we're dead to, like, burn spells. We're dead to Outburst, but they have to top deck. That Endurance was so good. Interesting draw. I guess that means we just cast the Serum Visions first. Graveyard. They get to cast the Demulich for zero mana. Another zero mana Demulich. Hopefully we hit a Phoenix. We should probably be flashing back at least the, f the first start here. We have to spend a mana on the on the bolt from Demulich. Demulich is not cast without paying its mana cost. But they're dead if they let us attack with the Lich. But they, they didn't like crack their eyelid or anything, so it kind of feels like they have something, right? Yeah, petty theft. So I need to go second Darcy. Start. I don't I don't know if we're alive. I it might be. I haven't counted yet. We get to put three liches into play. But the thing is like the rhinos trample over each lich. We go double block, double block. Yeah, we're dead. Crazy game. Yeah, we die. Yeah, they'll be dead to the trample. What a turn, what a game though. What a game. Feels like we're doing really powerful things, I don't know. These Cascade decks like definitely are a lot stronger than like a lot of just like your traditional power, of course. Their draw is also very good, like with the Endurance too. Good game. We had killed a rhino, we could have lived there. I don't think we're supposed to play around them like top decking the borrower though. We were just trying to we just needed to try to kill them. Right? Yeah. Alright, 
let's try this. Do you want Aria flam in the board? Uh, maybe. Yeah, well, so I guess no. one thing about Demi Lich as opposed to Phoenix is that you can cast it from your hand for zero mana. And so it doesn't, it's not as vulnerable to graveyard hate. No, Grape Shot's not playable in this deck. Yeah, Chalice is for the Cascade matchups. Is the three Chalice playing the Boris Void Mirrors due to the fact that you need all your mana every turn in contrast to the Red Black deck? It, no, it's different because in this deck we play Faithless Salvaging, Lava Dart, uh, that get countered by Void Mirror. So I think you just want all the Chalices. Chalice is also really nice with Expressive Iteration, where you can like hit that for zero mana. There's a little bit more synergy there zero land chalice not good enough especially because we can't play both chalices uh let's keep this put back phoenix a good question cascade buff's not playable in this deck i think Dimulich is not hard to cast like you're 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 paying for the blue costs with your spells not by actually just spinning four blue mana on this My opinion. Would mirror better than Chalice here? We, we like literally, I literally just talked about this. I literally just, just got done commenting on this, but Chalice is better because Void Mirror stops Lava Dart and uh, the rebound on Salvaging. And you can hit the zero off of iteration a bit easier. The problem with Velocity is you need a, a creature to target though. Good hit. Might actually spin four mana on Demi Lich next turn. <laughs> There's a delay in chat, gotcha. That's probably I'm sure that's what it was. I think we're supposed to play around Bazing because we still have Lethal Bolt, Darting Rhino. Bolt in hand. Yeah, if we had, I guess if we had a Bolt in the yard, we could have done that. But also Bolting main phase like, can let us hit a Phoenix that plays around Brazen Borrower too. We can surveil that into the graveyard. I didn't think we'd be doing this today, but it's also like way more likely when you're playing cards like Chalice that you're just going to spin four mana. Heard the craze about the broken vampire decks in in what format? The trade in borderless foil monkey for more monkeys. I don't know, man. The wrong guy to ask. Modern vampire tribal. Well, what has given modern vampire tribal a new edge? All right, pretty happy with this. Yeah, the mana value of this is still four, so Chalice doesn't stop it. Oh, some cantrips. Seems like I can. Cast this for three. Oh boy. We're going off. Red alert. They counter this. Uh, we can bolt them, get Phoenix back. All right, red alerts turned off. But we do get our Phoenix back. And then we get Safeless Salvaging on the rebound, discard Lich. That's one spell towards casting a Lich from the yard. Now Chalice does not stop Demi Lich for like the uh, second time. Just a couple of seconds. Any reason we aren't playing a thing in the ice? The card's not that good, I think. I think it's like, uh, like one, I think 12 creatures is like about the right number. And I think you're going to be playing, like Darcy is better than Thing in the Ice, for sure. I think Breach of is still good enough to play in 5 -0. Yeah, it's, I think uh, Blue Red Breach might be even like pretty underplayed. Okay, so they definitely have a Cascade spell here. Potentially beatable. Yeah, we're going to have to draw well off of our salvaging here. Dart is a, is a good draw. That Let's just get our Phoenix back. 
Oh, Scar is really good draw too. Okay, we're going off. We had another Phoenix. Ah, uh, sitting up straight. <laughs> sitting up straight mode. Engaged. Oh, I should have. I should have probably cast just just in case that endurance. I probably was just supposed to cast a Demulich first. And get punished. Yeah, this deck has been real fun so far. Cast a bunch of zero mana spells this turn. We've had some crazy turns. We've had some crazy turns. All right, I think I like my sideboarding. Obviously, like sideboarding with new deck always takes some time to learn. I've played Spyro and Phoenix decks in the past. Just the fact that it's not an instant or sorcery, it's like so slow. Like the problem, like like you already have like Discord outlets that are playable in these decks, but the but like the problem with the Phoenix decks is that they're a lot slower than they used to be. Uh, with when they compared to when they had looting and like Channeler helps speed things up a lot, but playing cards like Spyro is not and like Finale of Promise. Uh, these are not going to help you. With the biggest problem is that your deck is just very slow. This is the second league with the deck. We uh, uh mulligan the other league, uh, but we also like changed. Uh, we the bo we had bobbles in the deck um with the first draft, and those felt a bit awkward. Um, I think we can keep this hand. This hand just like obviously we don't have our sideboard cards, but this hand is just very strong. Put most of six on the play. Yeah, Tome Scour is interesting. I think it's just like. So often just a blank card though. Could be fine. Maybe if we play like a creeping chill version too. You will live. Dragon Rages Channeler, you're going to live. Demon just felt pretty good. Not like not like broken, but like a strong card, you know. It's too soon. Too soon to say goodbye. Yes, aspiring spike. Forbid me now to die. I'll obey. I will try. I'm supposed to thought scour in case I hit Phoenix here or Lich, I guess. We did hit Lich. In order to cast that, we have to double dart here. I think instead I'm just going to play Darcy back for one. Get Delirium next turn with the iteration. Be bad if they have fire. Have I ranted about how off-brand Darcy is having Surveil? I don't, I don't know exactly what you're asking me, but... If you're saying that Surveil was a Demir mechanic and now Darcy has it, I feel like Surveil this feels it, this card does not feel like a color pie break. It feels like a very red card to me. I don't usually care that much. If I cast Iteration, it's going to be pretty difficult to uh, cast zero mana. Oh, I milled over my island. Maybe I should have just got mounted there. Hot Scour is pretty good, but I think I'm just going to Graveyard. Tarfire is bad. Don't play Tarfire. It's like like worse than any number of got shots or darts or bolts. It's like just the worst option by a lot. I think I'm just trying to race here. I know I can dart, I could, I could like quadruple dart, but I think I just want to try to find phoenixes. Maybe I should have cast Thought Scour first. I should have definitely cast Thought Scour first. So I have so many looks at a phoenix here. We are 22 cards deep without seeing one. We have four more looks. Miss. Miss. Two more looks. Missed. Yeah. I guess, uh, I guess now I'm kind of committed to darting. Because we, I don't think we're gonna win this game unless we find a phoenix. 
Yeah, top 29 cards didn't have one. We do get to double witch, but... I guess I should attack first. Why do you grave your lich? Because I'm, I'm just digging deeper for more phoenixes. And we have plenty of spells to cast it from the yard here. But now we don't have any creatures in the yard for delirium. A deck tech from frog. The sweet idea, less idea for the cyborg. Limps into the dungeon. Today is that rooftop storm plus this card is a is a kill. That's kind of cool. Can't deny the cool. I think I just take ten. They have cryptic. We're gonna lose. I should love Manamorphos over salvaging in the yard. We find a bolt and a creature in the yard for delirium. We can flashback a bolt with the Demi Lich. I say could have made red red. All right, that's what we needed. I'll, I'll, get, I'll look more. So like, this is a cool idea. It seems to be a bit worse than like the other Lich or the other uh, Glimpse versions. The Phoenix too, cool. We did have four Phoenixes left in the deck because we just hit uh, at all. This hand's very good if we just have one more land. We don't have one more land though. Oh man, we I don't think we can mulligan this. Not on six. I'd probably mulligan on seven, but this hand is just like too. It just has too much upside. Glimpse will never be a tier deck. Lol. That glimpse has a ton of really good matchups. Honestly, Demi Lich seems good, but honestly, it seems medium so far. I don't know. We've cast a lot of zero mana Demi Liches from the hand and graveyard. Kind of surprised to hear you say that after like these last two matches, but maybe I'm happy to have someone in chat not being as like results oriented, I guess. Next turn, if, if we draw a land ever, we get to go Manamorphos, Manamorphos, Salvaging, Demi Lich, Demi Lich. Oh, sorry, we're actually one mana short of the Lich, right? Or one spell short. So is it better to salvaging first then? It's probably just better to salvaging this turn, right? E yeah, we can we could we could just take a turn off. No, we only have three spells. We only have three spells this way. Just make blue blue with the last morphos. We don't our last more if, if we do that then we don't get to like Phoenix, because we need to spend the that two mana on salvaging. Prime, three months, welcome back with Twitch Prime. Do you think this deck would work with Pyromancer's Attention instead of Phoenixes? Uh, I think Phoenixes are better. Like, like, Spade the Salvaging is very good with Dimulich because it just starts your turn off with a zero mana spell. Tries with nine months, welcome back. They found a way to replace Lurus by printing a 3 3 4 4. Genius. The Mad Lads. So this is just Blue Red Phoenix with Demulich. I mean, yeah, I think this is like, you know, the most obvious shell for it, right? Okay, what are we discarding? Probably Lich. Although, I feel like we're not gonna, we're not gonna have enough spells to replay it. So I'll just I'll discard Iteration, actually. It worked out pretty well. Metamorphos, Metamorphos, Red Red. Pretty good, huh? 
Pretty good. Bear, seven months. Thanks for the great content. Sure thing, buddy. Iteration's been very good in this deck. I definitely am looking to, to have it in this build. Yeah, I think cutting the bobbles, I think, was uh, smart. Yeah, the creature base is four Darcy, four Demulich, four Phoenix. You should be able to exclamation point deck and, and find the list, too, if you're wanting it. Remember, you have to spend mana on the Demulich spells. Which I think I when I first read it, I didn't realize. I, pro I guess I was supposed to iteration, stack the triggers differently so I could iteration first. Fine. Energy Boy, thank you for your Twitch Prime subscription, buddy. Hope you having a good day today. Got a hype train going. I'm really excited for this deck. I'm glad we were able to get it together. I didn't think we were gonna be able to. But we got some good friends of the channel come through, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty happy to like cut Mishra's Bobble from a deck, absolutely. Mm, panic, panic, panic. Is it better than Rectus Delirium? Uh, if, if I told you, I would just be making something up, right? Because I obviously don't have a large enough sample size to comment. It's been like, we play like five matches with this deck. Oh, I, I, only two matches with this 75, actually. See, read move Rectus Delirium to 15 in tier list. I'll take it. I'll take it. I have to kill my Phoenix. Okay, so they're going to kill Phoenix and eat the Liches and keep two darts in the yard. It's pretty good. Oh, what are we dead? We're dead? What happened this game? Oh my gosh. Golly. How did that happen? Give me the tape. All right, I think this is my sideboard plan. Let's go. I look pretty good though, at least. I don't think this deck is gonna be broken though, but it might be playable at least. No, the problem with Finale of Promise, like this deck is already like slow, right? Like this deck has some really good turn twos. It has some good turn ones with Channeler and stuff. You can buy some time with burn spells, but this deck is really trying to do its thing on turn three. Bring back like multiple Demi Liches and Phoenixes. Playing Finale, which is a card that like, you know, is only, is usually good on like turn four af after, is just going to make your deck slower. And I don't think that you want it. That was a great game. Maybe we should have held back a Lich for that reason. Maybe. I mean, I, I'm not even sure that we necessarily survive if we do that. Probably do. I have to spin bolts on them. Maybe that was just Copium, huh? I don't think you can play with Velocity without 12 one-mana creatures. But well, you could, like, maybe build that version. But then, like, it's hard to it's hard to play Lich and Phoenix and Velocity, right? Uh... We'll bottom another Phoenix. I think I just want to bottom this Manamorphose too. Need a Faithless Salvaging real bad. I guess let's just not get killed by uh, Regenic Growth, huh? Bit of a hedge. We'd put Abzan, Rectus is number 15, but he would play it or Abzan. Cool. 
surprised to hear Abzan on that list, but I'll take it. Uh, man. Silence a real painful. I'll keep Darcy though. Is Lava Axe too much of downgrade from here? You can play Lava Axe in the 75, yeah. Don't hate it. Holy instead of bolt. I was thinking, I guess I guess now I'm a little bit vulnerable to Stormwing, yeah. Yeah, it's probably better to bolt. We're drawing iteration, and we can iteration into Darcy. Hopefully put salvaging in our hands. These eyelets are just also so painful. No! Faster. So we're drawing uh, our own Darcy, so I think I want to wait on the bolt until I can surveil. They found mutagenic growth, they found mutagenic growth. If they dart me or dart my Darcy, I can lava dart back and try to surveil a land into the graveyard. But they didn't, so here we go. Here. They snag their own Darcy. Not a good joke, Callie. <laughs> Not a good joke. Love dogs too much. I don't think we're winning this game with the hardcast Phoenix roots. This is how we're winning the game. I'm gonna wait till they're in step, I think, because um, they might sack this islet and tap out of a counter spell. And if not, we'll just upkeep this. That was a good land to draw because we sacked the islet. It's the best land to draw. Oh, you mean just because we could have cast the Phoenix? Right, right, right. Never mind. Yeah. Although it's also like we have to tap our eyelids twice again. I'm, I'm not even sure that we necessarily are even that interested in that. Um, yeah, I think we have to play Phoenix on defense here. How many cantrips do we play? We play four Mana Morphos, four Iteration, four Serum Visions, four Thought Scour. We had baubles in our first draft, but I think that you just want all instant sorceries at, at this point in time, in my opinion. Add to dart. All right, sad. Matchups maybe not good. We we had, they came back from a crazy board state game one. Good match for sure. The problem with maximize velocity is we just don't have a density of creatures to target with it. So like trying to haste your own Demulich is like not a good plan when like Velocity needs to enable your Demulich to be cast in the first place, right? Mm, the mirror. Probably not the mirror. GG's. Good match. They're playing Blue Red Monkey. They are creature or artifact away from Delirium. So we have a window here to dart. Or gut shot. We've got shot in our deck too. Build over a Dimmy Lich. Interesting. Not the best draw here. I think I'm just gonna scour myself, try to hope to draw an answer to this. Missed. That's okay. Next turn we Yes, iteration. I'm not sure if I want to metamorphose first or not. Hmm. They have Murktide. Just Mirrors Phoenix, the worst card in the deck. Uh, maybe. Obviously, you know, Phoenix is not usually very good to draw when you don't have your salvagings. 
Okay, we do get to Lich here, assuming we hit a spell off the iteration. Ideally, that spell is an answer for Darcy. You're also like pretty flooded here. Okay, hand salvaging, bottom exile, pretty good hits here. Problem is Merktide Regent's uh, uh, broken. It's the main problem here. Why not use it as a charm of salvaging? Salvaging is better. The fact that this the zero mana on the rebound is absurdly good. Like, is a charm is better in like maybe games like this where you have two phoenixes in your hand, but salvaging is so much better on turn two. This deck isn't power enough for moder powerful enough for modern at the moment. Maybe a decent pioneer or historic deck. I just don't understand why chat is just always so quick to like just dismiss things after like a handful of matches, right? And we're two and one in this league. You know, we've been having some like really crazy turns. I just don't understand why people are just like so quick to want to dismiss like like the first like the you know we we barely played any matches with this deck. I just don't understand. It happens, it's just, it's just like, it happens every single time too. It's not like, I just don't get it. I think we can probably just never beat Bolt anyways. Just gonna attack like this. And we can maybe find, I guess we find, uh, yeah, we just need to salvaging and hope here. Not cool though. Right, of course, your throne discovery not good enough. I, I think salvaging is the best enabler by a lot in these decks. Think about salvaging. Think it. Think if salvaging cost zero mana, how good it would be. Think how good faithless salvaging would be if it cost zero mana. This card does cost zero mana, but you have to pay two mana, you know, up front and for another copy of it. Let's see if they have bolts. They probably have bolts, right? But we've had some like crazy, really powerful turns, and like this deck is obviously it's probably not gonna be a tier one modern deck, but golly, just let me play with the new cards. Oh, we're not dead. Darcy's not too bad either. Mill Phoenix into the yard. Unfortunately, we need to hit really well. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just actually like almost perfectly. I might I think I'm just gonna cast bolt with the Jimmy Lich. And then we leave one Phoenix back to block. Oh no, they're just dead. We attack and bolt them. Deck's not good enough for modern, unfortunately. I'm sorry to tell you, Spike. This deck has no chance to be good. I mean, they can have counterspell, but I think we're just supposed to present lethal here. They didn't counter anything else. There, Spike. I'm sorry to tell you, but your brew is bad. Sorry to tell you, but you're wasting your time here. There's really just no point in playing a deck like this. <laughs> All right, well, they go to one, very exciting. Obviously, if we win this match, then this deck is great. And if we lose here, it's terrible. We could have also just, we could have also tried to bend more cards here and find another dart for lethal. Uh, Unholy Heat doesn't beat us. Lightning Bolt beats us. Archmage's Charm beats us. Uh, Ragavan doesn't beat us. Yeah, we go to one off Ragavan, but they can hit a burn spell. So if so if Ragavan hits a burn spell, then it's our deck that was good, not theirs. Oh, they hit the salvaging. Sorry, obviously we knew that was on top. This card counter spell. 
they find the bolts. Don't slow roll me. I'm sorry, Spike. I don't think the deck's good enough. We won a game. <laughs> See, it's just, just don't be. I mean, I, and I'm not saying because we won this game that this deck is good. I'm just saying, chill, please, chat, chill, please. I really feel like there's like some potential here. Let's just try to figure it out together. I probably want the heats. They just don't really kill Merktide Regent that often. What are we cutting to? I'm not sure. Probably like two Serum Visions and like, I mean, Gutshot's not bad in this matchup. You probably want at least six sorceries though. Delirium would be hard to hit otherwise, but I guess Darcy also dies really quick anyways. So maybe we shouldn't care that much. Image has been pretty good so far, yeah. Dimension's trigger is worded such that triggers Magecraft twice. But you have to spend mana on Demi Lich's card, right? But you don't get to cast it for free. Is it Oko level busted? No, but it's been pretty powerful. We've had some good turns. Yeah, I think Merchant of the Veil could be good. I, 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 I do think that's a card that you should be considering. I agree with you. I do hate the card, uh, but it might be important for the deck. It also like isn't an instant or sorcery in the graveyard for Dimmy Lich, which isn't, you know, the most important thing. We saw a spell pierce game one, right? I'll play around that over force of negation, I think. Ragavan unplayable, of course. People want to be the I mean I, people different people want different things. I, I don't mean to I don't think I'm gonna dart here. Maybe it's fine too. Different people want different things, you know. There's like there's there's really like no hive mind wanting one thing, but I'm just like they're 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 the people that I'm talking to are probably it's probably no point, right? Because they're the kind of people that are just never gonna be pleased, you know. Pierce was the other deck. I might be that might be right actually. Get a Merc Tide. One, two, only only a five five Merc Tide, so I guess on the Holy Heat's gonna have our time killing it though through the lantern. A fit for Jory and Ruin Diver. I don't think so, I'm sorry. That card's pretty unplayable. So I need to make blue. Let's see here. Actually, one, two. Yeah, actually, we just put that in the graveyard. Yeah, that's like makes things way easier. Then we'll just make blue, blue. Well, now they sack the, the the this now, and so it's possible for us to hit another phoenix. Well, I wish I had made red, but we could just cast the stimulich. I guess I'm worried that I'm gonna hit delirium here. Did not hit Delirium. One, two. Back. That's pretty cool. Uh, like through the Soul Guide Lantern this turn. Any interest in first day of class? It's just like so much worse than like Is It Charm, which I'm not even playing, or Faithless Salvaging. Salvaging is salvaging is really really good. I think that that's something that people may come to realize is that faithless salvaging is really good in these decks. Could have waited main phase two. I don't know. I kind of feel like they were just gonna do something like pop the relic there, but yeah, it may be. I kind of I think just like or the soul guide lantern. I think just making them crack the lanterns probably better. Yeah, sal salvaging is really, really good. It's 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 like not as good as faithless looting, of course, but nothing's ever gonna be as good. Like faithless looting is too good for modern. And I like I I sincerely hope there's never something as good as looting again. Bold attack. Lava dart and get back second demi lich. Well, we don't have enough spells to exile from the graveyard, right? One, two, yeah. If we lava dart, we don't have enough spells. 
I think that in order to cast the other witch. Ooh, that's interesting. Top. If we had a land, we can kill this, maybe. Or actually, we could just go. Yeah, we can go. Just bolt this. Replay bolt off of the. Gotta fly. Demi Lich, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna dart anyways so that I can cast Demi Lich for zero mana, right? One, two, three. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough spells though. One, two, three. I have to just I have to hit a spell off the dart. I'm gonna do this now because I can hit Phoenix too. But if I hit an instant or sorcery into the yard, then I get to Demi Lich for zero mana. Oh, I guess I could. I was. I have actually one more look off the. I would have had one more look off the channeler. They have a force of negation. I did they not force my iteration? If that's the case, they may just be in all of the deck. Couldn't you have killed them? Could I have? Seven. 18. They do have force. No, I could not have killed them if I want to chat. <laughs> Maybe you're right, actually. Surprise! I'm like, shocked they didn't force the iteration, though. Are people saying the deck is bad? And that's also kind of why I've been, like, you know, a little like, bothered because I feel like this deck has been looking good, you know. We've been doing some crazy stuff. We just like we just cast this for zero mana from the graveyard. Skull dude looks funny. It must be bad. It's the best argument I've heard so far. We're a little ways away from delirium. Let's see if we get like super lucky. Oh, so I guess we can't even get super lucky. I have kept that actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just flash back the heat. Oh, interesting. Two. All right, so now we just we just we cast the heat targeting the work side. No, we, we dart the Darcy, and then if they block the regent, we can dart again. If they don't block the Demulich, we can just... So I guess they'll end up blocking the... Um, the Channeler here, right? And we, can, we should be able to cast another... Uh, we should be able to cast another the the Demulich from the graveyard again here, right? We have one, two, three. I guess we're yeah we we actually are going to need to mill because we missed on the looting, or the answer on the on the thought scour. We're going to need to surveil an uh, in-store sorcery into the yard off the dart to be able to Demulich, or we could just exile the. The dart to the lich if my opponent blocks the darcy it's probably correct yeah i think we'll just do that oh it's still costed mana oh no so we were supposed to dart them we were supposed to dart them and then hit the spell then we could have cast it but I mean, this is, you know, we're still in fine shape. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I thought I cast four. And so if we cast the dart, we do, we could have cast, we don't have enough instant or sorceries in the yard at that point to Demi Lich. Prop should not have swung with DRC. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe, yeah. That's an interesting pickup for our opponent. They target the dart. I'm not gonna flash it back here. They die if we just draw a land for the Phoenix. They die to bolt, they die to darts. 
guess they have to draw off the bubble. Three and one. Feeling good. Yeah, Lightning Axe seems interesting as well. I definitely agree with that. Keep this. I want to keep the gut shot, but I'm not going to be. I think it's the card to put back. Like Striker Rich is going to be asleep from Ares 2 one day I'll be broken. Well, I'm not sure like what kind of enabler. Oh, no, I put back gut shot. No. Oh. <laughs> What pain feels like. Maybe my open deck list. Wouldn't it be idea to cut Phoenixes for Merc Tides? I mean, I think Phoenixes are, are very good in the stack. I think that, like, obviously, Arc Like Phoenix is a card where you sacrifice some, like, some degree of consistency for power level. You know? I think that's fine. Yeah, like why would any modern deck not be a monkey deck? Should have just uh expected it, kept uh got shot. Right, so let's see if this resolves or Sarah Vision Zing. Another Demi Lich. They need a sorcery or an artifact. If they don't have that, the start's gonna be really good. I think we keep these. We're also, um, we, we, okay, they hit the sorcery. Oh, come on. So, do I upkeep Thought Scour myself? I don't think so. White mana, dash Dragavan. Now I, I'm regretting stacking the dart on top. Oh, well. Never mind, I don't need to worry about anything. So now we draw a mountain. We cast iteration, hopefully find bolts. Okay. Have to pass back here. Yeah, if we just keep that gut shot, like this game is so, so different, sad. I guess I could thought scar my I have one more gut shot on my deck. I'm just gonna do this. I milled over the gut shot. Ah. Robins. Let's go to game two. We did just win this matchup. I what I did was I just brought in three unholy heats and I cut. I think I cut a gut shot. I mean, we never don't probably don't want to draw too many more than just one copy. It's fine. So we have four lava darts too for their one toughness creatures. That's pretty close. I think I'm gonna keep. Islet's a bit awkward too. Stop on my upkeep. Rest in peace, Darcy. Oh, this is kind of bad if they like dash Ragavan. I think you're supposed to. Oh, no, mill over two lands. Deck bad. Deck bad. Thanks. Sure, you that that this is like. In their deck over like any other card. We draw a land here, we're actually just doing fine. We're not doing fine. Maybe we're playing too many eyelids. I don't know. Three eyelids is probably fine. Kim C card. Card Cardoza, two months with the back, appreciate ya. Cut gut shots first, recommend decks. Why do you have two copies main? Well, you know, the general idea there, right, is that there are some cards that are better in game ones, like gut shot, which is always going to be a zero mana spell for your deck, and you can bring in more efficient cards like Unholy Heat. But it's also just true, like, the real answer is that 
this deck is does not yet have a fleshed out sideboard plan. Milled over Dimmy Lich. I think we're gonna be a little too late here. Four islets, three islets and four iterations seem like a nombo. I mean like blue red prowess does it, you know. Nombo at least feels like a bit of an exaggeration. I guess we have Delirium for Unholy Heat on Regent. Maybe I should have just done it. I didn't realize that this died to the heat. Yeah, I could have flashed back. I mean, like, with flashing back Dart off the Steam Vents feels... I think they're casting another Regent. They have, like, no, they have no more spells, so... And? On a land. I think they're too likely to get Delirium. I know that this feels really bad when we're missing land drops, but just any instant or sorcery gives them Delirium here. You have a third Regent. Makes sense. All right, three, two. I'm gonna play one more league, I think. I'm <laughs> sorry.